right now. You are now tuned in. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kinesia. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. If you aren't already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button so you never miss another upload from me. And we just hit 8,000 subscribers, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much to all of you who have stayed subscribed to my channel and all of my new subscribers. Next stop is 10K, so don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button. So it's another Why It Works Wednesday, guys. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about sea moss or Irish moss, whichever name you'd like to use. It's the same thing. But basically, we're going to talk about sea moss and how beneficial this algae is for your body, for your hair for your skin, for everything. <laughs> so basically what is sea moss? Sea moss is basically a red algae that grows along the rocky parts of the Atlantic coast in Europe, North America, and the West Indies. Growing up, I always only heard about Irish moss because growing up in a Jamaican household, that's what we refer to it as, Irish moss, or you, you, my dad's making Irish moss drinks, or buying Irish moss drinks, or buying the Irish moss. So that's kind of where I was first introduced to it. But now it is becoming one of those well-known health things that a lot of people are talking about. And I'm not mad at it because mainly because sea moss is the missing link that your body needs for all of its imbalance. When it comes to hair growth, it starts from the inside out and taking something like sea moss that will help to rid your body of any sort of toxins and prevent it from being imbalanced will definitely help to maintain your hair's hair growth rate as well as making your hair strong and long. So you can also use sea moss topically on your hair as well. So there's multiple different uses for this actual product, but it is absolutely amazing. I would highly suggest that you Google sea moss before you do start using it because there's many different things um, that are associated with the product or contact your doctor if you're not sure if it's something that you can incorporate into your diet. So I'm just going to read really quickly what it says here about sea moss. So it says sea moss is loaded with psyllium, iodine, calcium, vitamins A, D, E, F, and K, sulfur, phosphorus, and calcium. The mucilage and alkin in sea moss aids in drawing toxins out of the cells. It is a natural source of plant collagen that keeps joints lubricated and lessens issues in the skin bladder and intestines. Additionally, the potassium in sea moss can also improve cognitive and behavioral function in kids suffering from ADD or people with fibromyalgia or other mood disorders. So yes, we're mainly talking about hair growth, but there is a laundry list full of things that sea moss it can help with. So I would highly suggest if you're struggling with anything health-wise to definitely look into it and see if it's something that can be beneficial for you. Lastly, I just want to say here, it says it contains compounds which act as a natural antimicrobial and antiviral agents helping to rid the body of any infections. The thing that is usually the problem with many of us that are struggling with hair loss or you know feeling like their hair grows but it gets really brittle is that there's some sort of imbalance within our body and we're not getting enough nutrients that we need to sustain us as we are aging. So with something like sea moss, ridding the body of any toxins and replenishing it with what it is that we do need, it's one of those things that can be super, super beneficial for your hair's growth. The main reason why something like sea moss would work is because it is boosting your immune system and ridding your body of any infection or toxins or balances so that way you are able to get the full value of all the nutrient dense things that you are putting in your body so not only is it ridding your body it is also enhancing your body and that way things like your skin your hair and your nails will flourish so that is the main reason why something like sea moss works so like I said earlier you are able to use sea moss topically on your hair and when you do so it enhances the shine it strengthens your hair it's an amazing conditioner it helps to keep your hair moisturized it said that it helps to grow your hair very quickly these are the words from the internet not just me but it's said to grow your hair at a rapid rate and it's said to fortify your hair's fibers and strengthen and clean your scalp so when it comes to the preparation of sea moss there's many different ways that you can use it this is the one that I have right now there's many different ones that you can use this one is called Caribbean flavors like I said there's you can find it locally at your um, either West Indian store um, or any sort of health food store you can even buy it online I've seen it on Etsy I've also seen it on Amazon but just be very careful when you are purchasing it and make sure that it is 100% organic sea moss. This one says that it's vegan, fair trade, gluten-free, 100% organic, non-GMO, and it's produced by small farmers in Trinidad. That's the one that I have right now. There is another one that I typically buy that is from small farmers in Jamaica, but they ran out of that one when I went to repurchase at my local store. But this is the one that I have right now. Basically, when it comes to preparation, there's many different ways that you can prepare it. What I'll do is I'll read what it says on this package in particular in terms of preparation, and then I'll tell you the second way that I normally like to prepare it as well. So it says preparation. Soak the dried sea moss or Irish moss in cold water for 15 
15 minutes. Wash it thoroughly with, with a spoon of lime juice. Next, fill a pot with two quarts of fresh water, add the clean sea moss or Irish moss, and two cinnamon sticks. Bring the, bring the pot to a boil. Once boiling, cover and sim simmer on low for 20 to 25 minutes. The Irish moss will soften and the water will thicken. Remove it from the heat and let it cool down and discard the cinnamon sticks. Allow the solution to cool and place it in the refrigerator overnight, allowing it to turn into its gel form. Now, typically what I like to do after I take it out of the fridge is I would blend it up and I would pull it, put it in ice trays and I would use two to three ice cubes in my smoothies when I'm making my um, healthy smoothies. And then that's how I ingest Irish moss on a daily basis. So have you guys heard of sea moss? Is it something that you're willing to try? Have you done any research on it? Do you use it? Leave me a comment down below. And that's it guys. I just want to quickly come on here and share with you Irish moss or sea moss or whatever it is that you want to call it. Leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.